In preparation for the Edo State governorship elections slated for September 21, 2024, the new Nigeria People's Party says it will uphold the integrity of the democratic process in choosing the flag bearers of the party to lead the state. The chairman of the screening committee, Abdul Rahman Abubakar, while addressing journalists in Abuja, reaffirmed the party's pledge to nominate a credible candidate capable of addressing the challenges facing Edo State. Whoever is selected as a candidate, you know, representing our party, is a person that you can take to the bank. It's sellable. And that's the main purpose we are here this morning, or this afternoon. So we, uh, the aspirants know that we'll go through the checklist. That is our denomination form, the expression of interest form, the academic records, academic credentials, the national, uh, Use service certificate where possible, where applicable, and where not applicable, the exemption certificate are interests that we should produce by the grace of God, the next governor of Edo State. And the kind of governance, the example we are laying in Kano State, should also move to Edo State by the end of this year. Also speaking, the National Publicity Secretary of the party, Yakubu Shendam, outlined the party's intention to employ indirect primaries. The approach, he said, reflects the NMPP's commitment to democratic principles and grassroots participation. So for us as a party, we have uh, arranged a level playground for all those ones who are going to be screened today. So NNPP, as a party of transparency, we don't want to do what happened in a state where we have, we, you can see the likes of APC coming out with over five candidates in the elections. We don't want to see the likes of PDP where they are, don't even know where they are. Ours is very straightforward. We want to make sure that we bring out a credible candidate. That's why we allow everybody to be here. We don't want to interfere. Well, we are going to adopt the direct primary, uh, uh, the indirect primary system. Well, that is why we have elected our delegates. Some of the aspirants spoke confidently about their qualifications and close ties to Edo State. They outlined their previous experiences in handling security matters within the state. Yes, I, I have uh, provided the credentials I have to them and it is up to them to, to determine that. But uh, based on my thinking, I would say, and based on Nigeria constitution, I would say yes. I meet the criteria. That's probably why I am here, driven by passion, driven by sincerity, honesty, and openness. I, I am here to turn Edo into the industrial hub of West Africa. Well, I'm very covered, covered uh, of what is happening to my people. Hogar is everywhere. People are on the street. If we be able to uh, uh, improve in agriculture, then education, health, health, health care, then you see that the people, we, we, we have an adequate thing to live on. So the road for them to transport their goods will be put in place because I know exactly what they need. They need, they need a, a lot. <coughs> they need water. They need roads. And they need uh, education. And they need uh, to be taken care of health-wise. So... Um, one of the few persons in Edo State that have been at least security matter, even state governments have given me a word of that, and I will continue that. I have also been tackling poverty in Edo State, uh, organizing programs and doing different things. I have fixed electricity for Edo State people. I can make sure the community have graded roads. I've done several things before now. So I am not starting. I will continue what I have been doing for the people of Edo State. The party's aim is to prevent chaos witnessed in past elections where multiple candidates from other parties complicated the electoral landscape.